Hello friends, welcome to a new 3ds Max tutorial. This is Gökçe from cgcave.com and today we are going to learn about the Align tools. And they are here near next to the mirror tool. Uh, you can click and hold on it and there will be a flyout menu as you can see. And we are going to learn the top three of these tools. Uh, quick Align uh, or actually Align, Quick Align and Normal Align. And I really find these uh, three uh, useful so I wanted to share it with you these tools. Uh, let's start with the box. Let's say we want to again uh, model a simple chair like uh, thing like we did in the uh, last lesson. Uh, let's set the dimensions of that like 40 by 40 by 4 for example and I'll hit W move this to the uh, origin and just set the Z height to 45 whatever. Now let's create another box uh, this will be the leg of this chair and I want to change the dimensions to 4 by 4 by 45 okay now I could uh, move this object to this corner with a snap of course uh, but you could also do it with uh, the align tool as well let me show that to you if this box is selected go ahead and click on the align tool and just select a target for the align now it will align the selected object to the second clicked object or the target object and when I click on it you will see a menu uh, like this and it will ask us uh, the exercise which exercise you want to move the object in right now it's uh, the only y exercise or y position is selected it can only move in the z y axis but you can uh, just click three of these uh, and move the object in all exercise as you can see and this, in the second uh, box in here, it asks us which position of the current object or the selected object do you want to align to the uh, which position of the target object. So uh, right now it's selected center to center. So you can see that the object, the first selected or the current object is aligned to the target object and their centers match each other. Okay. Or are on top of each other, let's say. Uh, the third and the fourth boxes asks us the, do you want to rotate the object or align the orientation of the objects as well or you want to match the scales of the objects as well. Right now I'm not going to go into these. Uh, we will learn about these uh, later in this uh, lesson. But for now let's focus on these tools here. Okay, Let me hit cancel and just grab a better view position. Uh, the shortcut for align is Alt-A by the way. If you hold Alt-A and then click on the target object then this will work uh, as well. Right now what I want to do is I want to just put this box to this corner in here. So I want to move the object in the X and Y positions. And in here you can just uh, say that I want to align the minimum uh, point of the object to the minimum point of the box. And you can see that the corners are matched like this. Uh, you can hit apply. And you can just uh, move this object around as well. Like uh, if I just uh, tell the object to move in the x-axis. If you hit apply, by the way, it doesn't close the window. As you can see, you can just still play with the objects. If you select the x-axis and just tell the object to align the, or tell Max to align the maximum point of the object to the maximum point of the target object, then you can see that you can move the box to that position as well. Okay. So let's OK uh, or hit cancel. Uh, let, let's do that again. In the x and y axis, I want to move the minimum to minimum. Hit OK. Now I can create a clone. Uh, the shortcut for clone is Control V. By the way, if you you can also do this with selecting the object, right click, go to clone, and just hit OK, and it will create a clone uh, of the object on top of the original one. Now you can just uh, hit Control, uh, sorry Alt A, and tell Max to move the object in the X axis and move the maximum position to the maximum position. And you can see that we have created the second box there. And we can do the same thing for multiple objects. I can just select these two, hold shift and create a copy, hit alt A and select the uh, target box. This time I want to move them in the Y axis as you can see. So I will select the Y axis and just choose maximum to maximum. And you can see that we can do the same aligning without the irritation of using snaps I guess in 3ds Max. It's a little bit funky in my opinion to use snaps in 3ds Max. So I usually I guess prefer align. But of course, you can choose whichever method you want. And let's do the same thing for the backside in here. I can just create a copy of these. Actually, to keep it a little bit simpler, let's just create a copy in the Z axis. 
and then I will hit Control, uh, sorry, Alt A, and in the Z axis I want to place the minimum point of the objects to the maximum point of the center target object. Sorry. By the way, if you are confused with uh, what these minimum and maximum points are, just think of them like this: in the Z axis, from uh, down to up, uh, you can go down, 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 and you will find the bottom of the object uh, as the minimum point of the Z axis. And if you go up, 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 and you can find the top point of the object as the maximum point. That's uh, what they represent. Uh, let's create some more objects as well. I guess in this case, uh, snaps are a little bit easier because you can just create the object right on top of uh, these two objects. But let's, uh, for the tutorial's sake, let's create the box in another position. Now, I want to uh, use align to align this object to this side. Uh, of the uh, chair, but we need to, of course, uh, know the length of this. Uh, it's four this side, four this side is eight, and yeah, it should be 32. So let's set that. The, let's change the length to three, and the height uh, can stay as 10 for now. Okay, I've selected this, hit Alt A, select the chair, and I'm going to just align this center to center first so that I can see this a little bit better. Now in the y-axis I want to move the minimum to minimum and this way I can just snap it uh, at the bottom or the um, minimum point of the chair. Hit apply again. Uh, this time you can just hit OK because the next align we should do this, we should align this to this object and I can say that in the z-axis maximum points should match and then as you can see it's placed right to the position. Okay, so this is how you can use align to align objects to each other. Uh, let me show the, uh, the other uh, two boxes to you. If, if I have, have a box like this, and let's say this is a little bit rotated like this, and you want to put another box on the bottom of this box in here. And by the way, this is uh, much harder to do with snaps. Sometimes snap seems, or snap tool seems a little bit easier, but for this example, for example, you can only do this with align. So let's just create a base for this box and I can just select this, hit Alt A and align this to this object. I can align this in uh, three X size and I want to align the pivot point to the pivot point. This way it will just snap to the bottom and I can just match the orientations as well. Uh, the X axis, the Y axis and the Z axis. And this way you can see that the box is right at the bottom of the target box and also the orientations are matched. And again, we can uh, do this with scale. Let's create a box and a teapot this time. And I'm, well, I'm, going, I'm going to just scale this box up a little bit. And now if I align this uh, teapot to the box, if I check these values, you can see that the scales of the, these two objects also match, okay? And you can use align like this. And also it's uh, at the bottom right now, so let's just align this again and in the z-axis I want the minimum point to go to the maximum point and this way this teapot will sit on this box. Okay. So as you can see this is how we use align. Uh, let me go over the next two tools uh, which were quick align and normal align. Uh, the quick align is pretty simple. Uh, let's just use two objects for this. Uh, for this example I'm going to keep the height of the box in a negative value like negative 2 for example. It will work a little bit better. You will see why in a minute. Uh, let me create a teapot as well. Uh, you can quick align this teapot to this box and it will right away uh, snap to the middle of this box. And the reason for that is what quick align does is it matches the pivot points of two objects. Okay, that's the thing of it actually. I will select the teapot, go to quick align and just select the target box. And you can see that it will right away sit on the uh, box real quick. Uh, let's say this is a cupboard for example. Let's create some shelves. Say we have three she four shelves on, to uh, on total and you want to place one teapot for each shelf. Then you can create copies of this and then just go ahead and quick align these it will really be fast. You 
can see that we have just aligned these. And of course you want to randomize things in 3ds Max, so you can just move them or rotate them later on. But as a starting point, uh, this should work very nice. Okay, and let's use the normal align as well. For this, uh, let's start with a sphere. And what normal align does is it matches the pivot point or the Z direction of the object uh, to the surface normal of where you are clicking. Uh, let me show that to you. Let's say we have a cylinder for this, for example. Okay. And if you just go to the normal align, of course, we need to first select the object and just choose a base normal for this. I want to align this uh, face to this face of the sphere, for example. And you can see that with two clicks, uh, it moves and rotates the object. So that's pretty fast. Uh, sometimes uh, you want to do quick things like this. And also we have some offset values we can play with. And we can some position offset values as well. Okay, so let's make this a little bit larger and do the same thing again. This time the shortcut is Alt N. By the way, you can just hit Alt N and align this to a position you want. Okay, and then let's create another sphere. And let's uh, actually make this unique. Let's make it a little bit larger in radius and smaller in the height. And I want to quick align this to this box in here, uh, sorry, cylinder in here, and I will make it a little bit smaller as well. So we have created a hat for the sphere, I guess. Okay, uh, maybe make them a little bit larger. And let's create two more spheres. Let's uh, scale them down in the Z axis. And again, you can just go ahead and use the quick, uh, uh, sorry, normal align tool. Actually, I will show you a better way to do this in a minute, but let's do it for now uh, with this tool for now. You can just select that, uh, the bottom of the uh, face, and you can just align it wherever you want. I want to create eyes for this character. Uh, let's hit G to see it a little bit better. And uh, a better way to do this than normal align is you can use a select and place tool. This is uh, something we haven't seen when we're, while we're seeing these basic uh, transform tools. But this is something introduced a little bit later in 3ds Max, but it's very useful in my opinion. I'll click on this and just grab this sphere and move it over the big sphere. And you can see that you can instantly place the eye uh, wherever you want. Okay. And also I can just hold shift and create a copy of this. And now we have two eyes. Okay. And again, we can just create a copy of this. Make it a little bit smaller. Hit Y. Y is the shortcut for place, uh, select and place, by the way. And you can just align it on the other sphere as well. Okay. Um, let's try to yeah, move it on. Uh, if you move it in the mid uh, of the sphere, it uh, works a little bit better. Okay. Do the same thing for the next eye. And I will change the color of these to black, for example. And I can just change the color of these to white. And you can see that we have started creating something in here. Okay, so uh, these are uh, the align tools in 3ds Max and also the uh, select and place tool. These, these are very, very useful. I recommend you to get warmed up with these real fast and uh, you will get much faster in modeling in 3ds Max. Okay, thanks for listening. I hope the video was useful. If you liked the video, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and just uh, activate that notification bell on next to the subscription button. Uh, thanks for listening. See you in the next lesson.